Hi everyone, this is a free roam reading where we are going to be looking into your person. So basically what's going to happen here is it's almost like they're going to talk to you via me and I'm going to pull a bunch of messages, a mu <laughs> bunch of tarot cards as well. We're going to see what is coming through, okay? So um, we will do that. And I just wanted to mention as well that if you would like to win a free reading with me, check out the description box below as I do giveaways every single month. This is for all star signs. So if you're here, I think it's a sign in itself that there can be some messages for you personal services with me, which include um, rituals to manifest different areas of your life, black magic energy removal, healing work, and also the private readings as well are all listed down below for your convenience. There are also handmade um, items that are meditated with and staged, which thousands of people have seen results with, also on my website, shopmoonlightguidance.com. And the review section for that is also at the bottom of my website. And uh, yeah, so there's, you know, lots of items for various areas of your life, like bracelets and candles and sage bundles and necklaces, anklets, you know, items you can put under your pillow, etc, etc. Okay, so let's begin. Let's see what your person has to say to you. Sorry, that was like really loud when the cards kind of, you know, go together. I think there's a card that's also flipped over. Yeah, there it is. Okay. Come on, Ten of Cups. <laughs> All right, so your person knows for a fact that they are A, lonely without you, because that's what the Five of Pentacles represents, loneliness, very clear cut loneliness. So basically the context of this particular card is, is one that I've explained a few times before, and it's really interesting. So these two people here are clearly barred out of this church, right? There's something going on inside and they're not allowed in. And it's also this sort of sense of just feeling you know, not good. So the thing here is, you know, feeling left out, feeling cold, feeling lonely, and and feeling to a degree abandoned. Now, you might think to yourself, wait a second, why are they feeling abandoned? Well, essentially, they are feeling like a victim, okay? I'm not saying that these two people here are feeling like a victim, but they are feeling like a victim, your person is. And when they think about the connection that the two of you shared, they're now starting to see it as, yeah, look at that, the hanged man is enlightenment. They are now starting to see it as something that could have really um, blossomed, bloomed, and come to fruition in a very fruitful way. There could have been so much more. Now they are thinking of the woulda, coulda, shoulda. I'm just saying, I mean, look, they're, they're literally telling you things could have happened. Things would have happened. I should have done this. I should have done that. They are really in a thinking mode right now. When someone is in a thinking mode, actually it's good because they're not shutting things out necessarily. It's pushing them to realize what they, well, would have, could have, should have done. So I will say one thing for sure is that your person has definitely a sense of guilt and they are very much so awakening to the idea that they should have done much, much more. And they didn't do much more, but, you know, they're thinking, okay, well, what now? Because they see you as a person who is literally a life partner. So, you know, when you think of like um, certain people and you think like, oh, that is life partner material. Oh, that person is, you know, like they could um, really, you know, bring a lot to the table. That's the kind of energy that I do pick up on here. Well, if you're like you are life partner material, you are someone who is so stable, so kind, so courageous, so strong, um, so beautiful as well. And that is something that we really are picking up on here. So the hanged man, five of swords. Okay, see, they're at war with themselves. They're at conflict with themselves. They're thinking to themselves, what did I do? Why have I been hot and cold and just not doing as much as I need to? This person here is a one in a or once in a lifetime person, which is of course you. Why am I doing this? Why did I do this to myself? Now, I will tell you, okay, as your reader, that the reason why they have been like this is because of past issues. Past issues have made them feel insecure, have made them feel a lot of fear, have made them run the opposite direction at times, and have made them been very, very slow, whereas they could have been much faster in their pursuit towards you. So essentially, there are multiple reasons that I can see here that have also contributed to the way that they've acted. And this is, again, something that they are just realizing as time goes by. I'm going to do a sandwich, so um, let's 
hold these for a second. I know exactly what's going on here. It's very much so, well, it's not everything that I've mentioned there. There are some more messages, but for sure, let's go with the, the little love notes here. I know in my heart that we would be together again. There you go, right? That Ten of Cups is the card of unity. It is the card of joy, stability, fulfillment, and the future in a very, very positive way. And they know that this is something that they want with you. You know, this is something that they want to progress with you. They want to make happen with you. We need time to heal and grow on our own first, right? Because what did I say they're dealing with? They're dealing with fear, insecurities, difficult past connections, different difficult past in just in general. That doesn't even make sense. Hold on a second. They have had a difficult past and that's what they would say. Look, you know, I've had a difficult past. Things have not always gone my way. I've got childhood trauma. These things, you know, make me very slow towards you. And I'm really sorry about that is what they would say, right? So it says, I feel so guilty about uh, what I've done to you. I truly hope you can forgive me one day. Yes, I did mention the word guilt very, very early on in the reading. So everything aligns beautifully. Not that it's a very beautiful, let's say, is it, I mean, is it a beautiful reading? But it aligns in a, in a very seamless way, let's say. Yeah, I'm not sure if we can call something like this so beautiful, but uh, seamless, okay. I know I need to apologize. Yes, because they do have guilt towards you. Uh, let me put that there. There we go. Oh no. <laughs> These are like really slippery cards. So I have to like make sure I put them properly. Otherwise they'll just fall off the end of the table. Um, I know I need to apologize. Yeah, there we go. Okay. And um, you need to let me go so I can grow, which is interesting, right? They do not like being suffocated. They will tell you that, okay? So if you are always reaching out to them, if you always need to talk to them, if you always need, 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 they will quite literally step back, okay? So one of the main things here is let them do as they are doing and they will naturally come towards you. This is a very, very important message. Otherwise, you know, it would just hurt you more because then you'll be like, oh no, what's happening here? You know, because they are conflicted. They've got a lot of issues. They've got a lot of stresses. The death card here also shows a rebirth in this connection. So I do see here that things can take a turn for the better, but it is a process, of course, which I think is important to mention. Seven of Wands, obviously there are challenges, there are struggles. Things are not perfect. Things are not simple. Things are not easy, but essentially, you know, things will get better from what I I'm seeing and I don't see things being a lot worse from what I'm picking up on. It's just a bit of a process. Now we have got the Knight of Swords and the Knight of Swords is very, very important. Why is the Knight of Swords important? Well, and the Knight of Swords fundamentally is extremely, extremely significant because it shows here that they will want to communicate with you. They will want to come forward towards you against all odds, against the difficulties of this connection. They will want to progress towards you. They will have something to say and they will not back down in that sense because we've also got the Strength card. This is them having courage to actually come forward, to actually talk to you and to actually progress things in that direction. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. So that's really what we've got here um, in that sense. But I will just say for sure that what I see here is a very clear cut sense of your person feeling guilt in regards to not doing as much as they feel they should have done towards you, but also identifying in their soul, in their aura, what they, what has been the reason that they have not been able to do as much. And we see those reasons here, their own personal struggles and their um, their worries, you know, their worries in that sense have been challenging, you know, challenging. And that's what we see. That is literally what we see here, um, which is extremely, extremely powerful. Yeah. And that's literally what we do have here. So, um, yeah, this is your person speaking through tarot. It's like a little interactive tarot. Um, so, yeah, if, if, you know, if this, if you claim it, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment down below. Check out the description box below for information on personal services, free reading giveaway, intention items, which are on my website. Um, there's also you know, TikTok and Instagram. I post short readings on there every single day, actually. So if you wanted to check those out, feel free to do so. And I will see you all very, very soon. All right, take care, everyone. But uh, yeah, we see here change. We see here progress. We see here a lot of movement, which I think is absolutely fascinating in so many ways. And yeah, it's definitely a, a pretty solid 
reading in that sense as well. So that is literally what we do have here. So yeah, really hope this, this helps you all. All right, take care everyone. Bye.